I was gone all weekend long. I left at the absolute worst time. Drake and Kendrick Lamar, for the majority of the past two days, have just been sending constant shots back and forth, specifically Kendrick. From what I've seen, Kendrick has been just dropping shit daily, uh, like insanity. It's, it's actually fucking mind-boggling. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm back now. I have a lot of catching up to do. I plan to get all of this shit uploaded today, reacting to everything from Family Matters to Meet the Grams to Not Like Us to The Heart Part 6. Um, I am, I'm, I'm very, very interested to see what's going on. I've tried to stay away. I have not heard any of the music. Um, but I've tried to stay off the internet, but I have seen some things, some, some, some things on some songs. Um, I don't know exactly which songs they're from or whatever, but I've seen some of the stuff from the tracks. Um, I've seen some of the artwork that came out, um, for the songs, uh, from specifically like Meet the Grams and Not Like Us. So, um, yeah, we're going to just dump into it. If you guys don't know who I am, it's Feckman. Uh, I react to YouTube or I react to music content on here. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so mind boggled right now. I'm just like... I literally left the one weekend that they decided to drop endless shit. Like, it was crazy. Um, anyways, without further ado, <clears throat> right now, we're checking out Family Matters by Drake. This was the first of the kind of spree of response tracks coming out uh, after 616 in LA, which if you want to see that reaction, that's up on my channel, as well as the Euphoria reaction. Um, but yeah, but without further ado, let's jump into it. This is a seven and a half minute response track. Let's do it, man. Family Matters, Drake, let's go. Maybe in this song, you shouldn't start by saying, Nigga, I said it, I know that you mad. I've emptied the clip over friendly or jabs. You mentioned my seed and I deal with his dad. I gotta go bad, I gotta go bad. Okay. So so we're picking up we're picking up from where push-ups left off. We're picking right up from where push-ups left off. Okay, gotcha. Cause I know it cut on it cut on the uh, I was really trying to keep it PG. I figured maybe this would there was something else to it, but okay, let, let, let's go. Drop a 50 bag, 29 for the thought. Uh, I was really, really trying to keep it PG. I was really, really trying to keep it PG. If you had a set, they get your ass a DP. Mm. Two civilian gang in real life, you PC. You know mm. who really bang a set, my nigga YG. You know who really bang a set, my nigga Chuck T. You know who even bang a set out there, CB. The nigga cold, lose his sleep on this, it ain't me. Mm. You had some paperwork of that shit, fake T. Can't be rapping about no rat that we can't read. I mean, it's true, a nigga slimy for my AP. Mm. Just like how Metro nigga slimy for his main squeeze. Whoa, wait, 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 Let me see. I got, I got the lyrics pulled up here. So I'm, I'm not missing this shit, bro. And if I do miss some lines, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Uh, But, you know, that's just how shit goes. <laughs> I mean, it's true. I did get slimed for my AP. <clears throat> just like how Metro slimed him for his main squeeze. Let me see. Uh, Drake is alleging that one of Metro's friends had sex with Metro's main chick. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. Okay, yeah, so he, he's sending shots back, because I, uh, I seen on Twitter, um, Metro uh, was kind of saying some shit like, you know we both can't say why I don't fuck with you, because it'll hurt both of us, so let's just keep this shit going, fuck you, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not too sure, I feel like there's a lot more deeper in that, but um yeah either way i I'm, I'm enjoying that he's picking it up from push-ups i really am enjoying that say please always rapping like you about to get the slaves free you just acting like an activist is make-believe mm. don't even go back to your hood and plant no money trees mm. say you hate the girls i fuck with what you really mean i've been with black and white and everything that's in between you the black messiah wiping up a mixed queen and hit vanilla cream to help out with your self-esteem also bobby shit i want to know what whitney need all that Puppy love was over in y'all late teens. Why you never hold your son and tell him say cheese? We could have left the kids out of this. Don't blame me. Mm. Hold on, hold on. You're the black messiah wiping up a mixed queen and hit vanilla cream to help out with your self esteem. Okay, yeah. That, 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 okay, because I, I thought, because I know, um, what's it called? I, as far as I know, Kendrick and his fiance have been together forever. Like, even before Kendrick really, like, popped off. Um, and he's he's referencing him saying on Good Kid Mad uh, or on the Worldwide Steppers and on the Good Kid Mad City tour, um, he had fucked a white chick or something along those lines. But man, yeah. And then uh, then what he say? 
Uh, we could have left the kids out of this. Don't blame me. I mean, you could have, but like, Kendrick wants to, Kendrick, does, here's the thing I'm noticing, right? And I'll talk about this more when we get to the Kendrick tracks. Kendrick won't be satisfied even if everybody says that he wins this battle. Kendrick just doesn't want to see Drake here anymore. <laughs> That's really what it feels like. It doesn't matter what me, like, if, like what my opinion is on if, like, I think Kendrick wins. It doesn't matter what any of the biggest people in hip-hop thoughts are if they think that Kendrick wins. Kendrick just does not want Drake to be here anymore. That's simply it. It's, it's fucking wild. Dog, and you know it, you just play sweet. Your baby mama catch us always screaming, save me. You mm. dirty all your life, you trying to make peace. I heard that one of them little kids might be day free. Oh my God. I seen that. I seen that earlier. Yeah. Fucking Drake saying that one of Kendrick's kids are day free. If you don't know, day free is a very close associate to Kendrick Lamar. Saying that he thinks one of his kids are actually Dave Free's kids, man, man. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Don't make it Dave Freeze, cause if your GM is your BM secret BD, then mm. this is all making plenty fucking sense to me. Hey, let that shorty breathe, shake that ass, bitch. Hands on your knees, hands on your knees, hands on your knees. Shake that ass for Drake, not shake that ass for free. Yeah, yeah. We're not that I like that little free. reference. I'm talking about my nigga Dave. Yo man a Lil K, we call that shit a mini Drake. Mm. He always said I overlooked him, I was staring straight. These bars go over Kenny head no matter what I say. I know you like to keep it short, so let me paraphrase. Knew it was smoke when Abel hit us with the serenade. Nigga say, uh, uh, almost started reaching for my ways. Drop, oh. drop, 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 drop I'm not gonna lie. The last section was kind of weak. <laughs> as far as just like, like bars go, it was just him making a lot of a lot of Kendrick being short jokes. <laughs> but either way, hell yeah, hell yeah, good verse. I like that verse. I think Kendrick or I think that Drake brought a lot of points to the table. Um, I would really be interested to know more about the Dave Free shit. I would really like to know something about that. Um, but like. I, We'll get into that later. There, there's so much more to listen to, and I'm sure Kendrick has something to say on the other couple of songs that he just put out. So let's keep it going. Let's fucking keep it going. We're switching up? Yeah. We are? We really take this shit serious, like. Niggas is a joke. I take it serious, though. Yeah. Look. If Drake shooters doing TikToks, nigga, really shooting in your gang. That's peace, brother. Y'all ain't getting shit shot, nigga. Can't listen to the stick talking falsetto, saving for a hip hop, nigga. You don't even be at home, dog. You a souvenir out the gift shop, nigga. Still mad about that one hoe. We ain't even fuck. I just lip lock with her. I get active when it's war time. I ain't even really let my dick drop, nigga. What the fuck? I heard Rick drop, nigga. Talking something about a nose job, nigga. Oh, Zip, it got a side effect of jealousy and doubt. I never told y'all, niggas. Put a nigga in the bars, let a nigga rock. Kinda like your old job, nigga. House sitting on some land, but it's out with no one even really knows. Oh, 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 hold on, 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 he's going in, he's going crazy on it real quick. If Drake shit is doing TikTok, real shooter in your gang, that's Peace Brothers, y'all ain't getting shit shot. Can't listen to the stick talking falsetto, save it for a hip hop. You don't even be at home, you don't even be at home, dog, you a souvenir out of the gift shop. Man. Yeah, because I seen, I seen him sending the shots saying that, like he ain't like seen his kids or some shit like that. Uh, all, all this shit. Um, it's funny he mentioned he mentioned Ozempic, um, because I want to say that this song came out before, um, fucking Meet the Grams did, and I want to say I, I don't know if the artwork's still up on streaming. I'm pretty sure it got blacked out. Um, but in the the artwork, it's basically just like a picture of a lot of stuff, which again we'll get into later. But one of the things in there was Ozempic. Um, so that that'd be kind of kind of funny it'd be kind of funny if uh, somehow Kendrick got got that on early but let, let's keep it rolling just to give a blow job nigga must have started up a snowball cuz my last record deal was 400 ends these days that's a low bar nigga mm. who's next on the list which one of my so called niggas which one of my so called niggas which one of my so called niggas need a share for the clip mm. always knew I had to smoke y'all niggas Good kid, mad city van, will pop the latch and make the door slide. Tears mm. running down my cheek, laughing at you, pussy dying. It's a war cry. We can music getting played in all the spots where boys got a little more pride. That's why all your friends dip into Atlanta, playing just to find a tour guide. Able run your fucking bread.
Weekend music getting played in all the spots where boys got a little more pride. I'm assuming he's saying like, 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 like gay clubs and shit. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking at genius. Atlanta is a notably popular LGBTQ community. Okay, but like, how would Drake know that? <laughs> what? How? How would? How would Drake know about that? Drake? <laughs> what? Are, I'm not saying nothing, but. How would you know where the weekend's music getting played, Drake? <laughs> getting played in all the spots where boys got a little more pride. That's why all your friends dip into Atlanta playing just to find a tour guy. Able run your fucking bread, need to buy some more chains for some more guys. Let me find another street nigga I could take to the game court side. Let me get a useful ride for a rapper, take the nigga on a horse ride. Mm. Anything to take a spotlight off the fact the boss is a drugged out little punk sissy from the north side. Rock him talking shit again. Gas cause you hit my beam first, nigga. Do the math who I was hitting in. Mm. Even though you rest still, cause they only talking about your fit again. Probably gotta have a kid again for you think of dropping any shit again. Even when you do drop, they gon' say you should have model cause it's mid again. Smoking 50 by they should have put you on the first one trying to get it in. Ask Spring if this a good idea the next time you cut it in a bed again. Shit, leave it till you leave the boy alone for you get your head split again. Pluto shit made me sick to my stomach. We ain't never really been through it. Lean away, he a fucking lane, so I know he had to be an influence. Mm. These niggas had a plan and they finally found a way to rope you into it. Two separate albums, this and I just did K dot shit is only hitting hard when baby king put his pen to it. I'm sorry, that's shit you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong, right? You 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 you've mentioned in this shit like good kid mad city like three times, bro. Like that, that's so pre keem Like the fuck? Like like, no, <laughs> no, that, that just ain't right. I'm sorry. I was waving white flags while the whole fucking club sing to it. Murder scene on your man tonight, then come to vigil with the candlelight. Body at the fucking body, and you know, Rick reading my Miranda rights. I'm going on vacation. I hope next time y'all plan it right, because you got to pay for saying Wait, my name. hold on. Yes. Body after fucking body, and you know, Rick reading my Miranda rights. Or my, my, my Miranda rights. Um... Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, Rick Ross. Okay, Cause I, I remember I'd read something about that. I completely forgot it though. Rick Ross used to be a correctional officer. I I see. I see. I see what he's doing. All right. Now niggas understand the price now. There's a, wait, hold on. There's a, there's a third beat switch. Hey, Kendrick just opened his mouth. Someone go hand him a Grammy right now. Where's your uncle at? Cause I wanna talk to the man in the house. Where I, oh man, Kendrick just opened his mouth, so I'm gonna go hand him a Grammy now. Basically saying that anytime that he says something, like, he gets praised for it. No. <laughs> like, like, listen, Kendrick is a gassed up rapper, for sure, but 100% he deserves it in almost every single situation. Good Kid Mad City is a fucking classic. Tamipa Butterfly is a classic. Damn, I think at this point can be considered a classic just because it is probably the most, like, openly listenable and most replayable Kendrick Lamar album and at the end of the day it is still a great fucking album it tells a good story to it I consider damn to be a classic as well Mr. Morale and the Big Stepper is another fucking great album I think we got to give it a little more time to see if it's a classic because the replayability isn't as heavy on Mr. Morale but subject matter wise it's a lot more different than a lot of the other shit that Kendrick has put out on Good Kid uh Tampa Butterfly and on Damn so I mean like give it a couple of years maybe people will come around and just say you know this shit slaps but like I, I don't know obviously but I, I I personally think Kendrick has a damn near flawless discography if not flawless discography as far as his mainline like work goes um, so I mean, th to be like, oh, he just says anything, people hand him a Grammy. No, that's not, that's not true. Matter of fact, who the fuck won best rap album when Good Kid Mad City was up? Fucking Macklemore, bro. Fucking Macklemore won against Jay-Z. I mean, you already know the whole fucking story, but like, it, fucking Macklemore's The Heist took home best rap album over Good Kid Mad City. Kendrick earns his fucking Grammys, bro. He puts in the work, he takes the time, he does what he's gotta do, and I appreciate that shit. He brings quality over quantity every time, and it hits. Drake, you put out Scorpion, it was a 25-track, endless, long motherfucking album. You put out Certified Lover Boy, shit missed. You put out For All the Dogs, it was alright, but honestly, kinda mid. This is still the best shit you're putting out in years. Stay on this fucking energy.
stay on this energy. Again, I'm trying to remain neutral, but when he's saying blatantly stupid shit, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm gonna say something about it. Close niggas do phase, right? Come get this ass whooping, I'm handing them out. You wanna take off a forever? Then come get his legacy out of my house. A cease and desist for hoes. Can't listen to lies that come out of your mouth. You call the two pack of state. And beg them to sue me and get that shit down. I'm losing for state, it won't be. You called the Tupac estate and begged him to sue me and get that shit down. Talking about Tupac's estate, saying that they were looking into possibly suing Drake if he didn't take down the Taylor Made freestyle because he's Tupac AI for some fucking reason. Uh, I mean, if that's true, like, cool. But at the same time, like, I could also just see, like, I I don't know. I don't really feel like Kendrick cares that much. I feel like <laughs> I feel like the general public reception of that was just kind of like, why the fuck was this even necessary? You already have the the current last word. Just let shit settle. There was no point to double down. But none nonetheless, fuck it. Boy went to San Beat and I kill you for fun. Your daddy got robbed by top. You stunning and wayne like father like son. Anthony set up the plays. Coach will be charging you double for none. They shook about what I'ma say. But texting your phone like we already won. You tell me Your daddy got robbed by top. Uh you stunner and wayne like father like son. I Okay, uh, I I feel like he's trying to like say something about like like Top Dog like you know being or like like his dad getting robbed by Top Dog like that's already like a thing out there. Uh, let's see, you stunner and Wayne like father like son. Uh, yeah, referring to Birdman, Lil Wayne. Uh, each referred to each other's father and son. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see, I see it. All right, I see, I see, I see what he's going for. What I shouldn't say. Well, fuck it, my nigga, it's already done. We already know it's a 20 v one. We already know why you went number one. It's clearly because of the boy. The honorable thing is to give me the loot. You write about fuck the big three. It's only big D in this video proof. My son should go play at the. He did not bring up the fucking leak, bro. <laughs> You're right about fuck the big three. It's only big D and there's video proof. Yeah, we all seen it, right? <laughs> no shot. <laughs> Two light skinned kids, the shit will be cute. Unless you don't want to be seen with anyone that isn't blacker than you. We get it. We got it. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. We get that you like to put gin in your juice. We get that you think that you bishop and juice. When you put your hands on your girl, is it self defense because she bigger than you? Your back is up against the curb. You dig it. When you put your hands on your girl, is it self defense because she bigger than you? Let me, let me see. Uh, okay, for some reason they, uh, bruh, literally I pulled up genius annotation because I'm trying to like get like an idea, like has there been like a public thing about Kendrick like beating his, his fucking fiance? But the only thing on the genius annotation is just talking about how, sh how much shorter, um, Kendrick is. Because Drake asserts that Lamar assaulted Alfred after discovering her infidelity. Okay, th there, uh, there's nothing linked to it, so I don't know, like... He could be saying something real, but I mean, we ain't gonna fucking know, honestly. If a dirt should be digging for proof, why did you move to New York? Is it cause you live in that bachelor life? Proposed in 2015, but don't wanna make her your actual wife. I'm guessing this wedding ain't happening right. Cause mm. we know the girls that you actually like. The darkest secrets are coming in light. It's all on your face like what happened to Mike. Oh shit, mm. it's all making sense. Maybe I'm Prince and you actually Mike. Michael was praying his features would change. So people believe that he's actually white. Top will make you do features for change. Get on pop breakers and rap for the white. And wait, Ooh. you say your brother Jermaine, but you want him to stay out of the light. Oh shit, just follow me, right? Cause nothing you say ain't gonna bother me, right? I get off the plane and nothing has changed. I handed the lala with all of my ice. Handed the lala with all of my ice. Handed the lala with all of my ice. This shit gotta be over by now for anyone out here that's calling it right. You did. You did. You did. There's no way to hide, there's no way to hide, you know what I mean They hired a crisis management team to clean up the fact that you beat on your queen The picture you paint, it ain't what it seemed, you did Hold on, I want, I want to check that. Okay, it's just another claim that Drake's making with no backed up proof They hired a crisis management team to clean up the fact that you beat on your queen Damn, man Damn, okay, okay So there's new shit getting thrown out there by Drake this new shit gets and again by the time you're all watching this, you guys have probably already heard all the fucking songs. You guys already know if this shit's addressed. I'm listening to all of this shit today for the first time. Um, but like, damn. So he's coming with a lot of shit, talking mainly about his about his wife or his fiance, I guess. Um, but like, I mean, damn. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, good song though. I like that it picked up again from where Push Ups left off and then kind of had its own little direction. Uh, addressing that fucking one of Kenny's kids is apparently Dave Freeze or allegedly one of Dave Freeze. Um, again, making the short, the short, short jokes about Kendrick. Um, but I mean, yeah. And then he kind of sent a couple of shots as well. Again, back at the weekend at Metro at Future, uh, talking about Cole. Um, I mean, just leave Cole out of it at this point, man. Like, I think we're all pretty clear here that Cole is the biggest winner out of all of this because he was involved and he split the fuck out. <laughs> he he did not want in on this shit, and I can't blame him. Seriously, this is such a mess to be involved in. Um, but yeah, I, again, the fucking a gr good song in my opinion. I think Drake sent some fair shots. I'll be very interested to see if Kendrick is going to respond to him on the next songs that I listen to. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I mean, fair fair shot from Drake again. I'm liking the energy, and like I was saying earlier, um, just talking about uh, you know, I f I forget what line it was, but I, I was saying like you know. Uh, oh, quantity over quality from Kendrick. Um, like, here we are right now, Drake. This shit's great. Literally, I just want an album of this shit, bro. Stop putting out this, you know, weird shit. If it's music that you want to make, that's cool. Just come with some rapping shit one time for me, please. Please. I, I would I would love just a full-length album that's focused from Drake that sounds like these songs. It doesn't have to be diss records, just rap records. I just want them, you know, actually rapping, not some R&B melody bullshit. Um, I like that too. Sometimes Drake can do that great, but there's other times where I just want to hear him rap, and it's been a long time since I've heard that other than these fucking tracks. So that's it. We're done here. <laughs> uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button. Feel free to comment down below your guys' thoughts on the song. And out of the, uh, I guess, four that I'm listening to today, um, that being, you know, Family Matters, Meet the Grams, Not Like Us, and uh, The Heart Part 6, let me know what you guys think is the best one and why. Uh, and as well, if you are looking forward to seeing the rest of the videos or if you want to check them out, I have reactions to all the other diss tracks either on my channel right now or uploading them very soon later on today and tonight. Uh, but absolutely, feel free to let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And also, if you're new here, feel free to hit subscribe. The channel's been doing very good recently, and I fucking appreciate all of you. So, yeah, without further ado, it's been Vecman. Peace out.